Power BI Desktop is a local application which is a downloadable. It's a free software and it runs on the Windows OS um, and it can connect uh, thousands of data sources. Uh, there are several categories which we will talk about when we uh, work on a desktop. And once we are done with all the data sets, visualization, and the report part, then we will publish these contents in order to share with other users on a cloud based service, which is a Power BI service. So, here on the uh, right hand side, you can see some uh, basic building uh, blocks uh, if you talk about uh, Power BI desktop very powerful building blocks so first and foremost is uh, data sets so what is data set data set is your own data model so when we connect to any other data sources uh, suppose uh, Excel so when we import any file from Excel so actually internally that file will be converted into a kind of data set so there are basically two kinds of data set uh, we can create one is built-in data set that means uh, by using uh, existing data sources when we connect it will convert that data into data set so that we can model our data another way to create a data set in power bi desktop is to you know connect to the local files uh, and then query those uh, query those files in a query editor and then uh, rearrange your data uh, which again it will convert uh, into data set and we will work in a data model then later so once our data set is ready via uh, built-in data sources or uh, the own data sources uh, the next step is to use do those uh, data set uh, into uh, some uh, visualization some graphical representation because raw data is nothing we, ca we cannot express anything uh, by using raw data so that data then we will transform into different visualizations so, so there are a couple of built-in visualizations which are available within the Power BI. Uh, so we can use those uh, visualizations, suppose a uh, bar chart, visual, bubble chart, uh, a table, and there are uh, several gauge uh, chart we will discuss in uh, detail. Then uh, the third uh, building block is uh, tiles. So tiles is an area when we add a visualization to a page. So that particular section is called a tile. So we can have number of tiles. Uh, the only limitation is uh, the uh, number of tiles on a single page. So this is the only uh, thing which we need to think. But if we have more visualization, more tiles, then um, we can add number of pages into the reports. So those tiles then transform into report once we are done with all the visualization data model and all the sort kind of uh, thing uh, the last thing is that uh, is uh, once our report is ready then without sharing these reports uh, is like uh, we haven't done anything so in order to share these reports we have to publish the solution from power bi desktop to power bi services on cloud so uh, here pretty much all about the power bi desktop now we will now we'll move on to the next uh, section is the power bi services so the factors uh, regarding power bi services is it's a cloud based application which runs on azure and it's not a free software we can get a 60 day uh, trial uh, license which is free but after 60 days you have to purchase the license so it runs on the cloud and uh, the main aim for these services is to share uh, these reports which we developed uh, in Power BI desktop to other people or to different organization or the team. Uh, here are some gray areas which we need to focus is like uh, the data set, visualization tiles and reports. So basically uh, most of the times we have to use uh, data sets which is built already in Power BI desktop. So we cannot create new data set in Power BI service, but yes, we can import these data sets from Power BI desktop, ex existing desktop. But there are some other ways we can connect data. Uh, one is a Power BI desktop, another is Excel and the CSV. So by using those data sets, then we can transform our data into visualization tiles and report. So these things we need to uh, 
uh, consider when we are working on the services uh, another new and exciting feature or building block uh, in the service is the dashboard feature so dashboard is like a single page canvas uh, which tells your story which depicts your story of your data so all the reports uh, which we have collected through power bi desktop can be reused on a single page which is a dashboard within the dashboard uh, there are several different uh, uh, components like Q&A. So by simply asking a question by natural query language, you can again create your report. So it's a very exciting feature which we will uh, look when we will talk about dashboard. Now, next we will move on to Power BI Mobile. It's a mobile app which is not a free software again. So we need to download this app. It runs on mobile devices and the main purpose uh, for Power BI Mobile is to get data from services in the cloud and view into our mobile devices so that uh, again we can collaborate and share with other uh, user or different people. Another point is now we will talk about Power BI subscription. It's a pro subscription. So control access through Active Directory groups. So all the group which we have inside Active Directory, we can access these groups using uh, this subscription, pro subscription. Uh, also, we can work with Office 365 groups uh, like uh, it runs on a cloud. So we can connect to different uh, 365 groups when we will create workspaces and also create and share organization content packs for software as a service so these are some extra features which you will uh, get by default when you uh, get this particular subscription uh, for the larger organization i would recommend to you know get all these uh, services uh, along with the subscription the next thing which we can see here uh, the differentiate between the free power bi edition and the pro so from a data point of view there are is a huge different uh, power bi free uh, handles one gb of data limit uh, but in a pro we can get uh, at least uh, 10 gb of data limit it refreshes uh, daily data point of view and uh, in a pro it refresh data early basis and the streaming point of view 10k row are streaming data uh, but with the pro we can get uh, 1 million row are streaming data early basis and so we have to you know uh, upload data or publish data uh, through power bi services but in a pro subscription you get directly interact with the connection like live connections so uh, these are some differentiation uh, which you can keep in your mind now we will move in is uh, power bi premium so power bi premium plan is uh, built on capacity uh, pricing charging per note per month since this provides a lot of features so prices uh, varies uh, based on that a uh, power bi offers a premium version cost calculator uh, for custom code ranges based on the number of pros uh, frequent and occasional users so this service will charge based on the number of the users so when we are registering this particular premium uh, subscription uh, we usually ask how many users will use this particular service so it can vary the prices will vary so another Im important point is gain dedicated uh, capacity gain dedicated capacity you allocate scale and control uh, distribute and embed content without uh, purchasing per user license since uh, it will ask how many user at a time so it is not uh, per user uh, we will not concentrate uh, like uh, license prices will uh, vary uh, publish reports on prem with power bi report server so these were some points uh, for the power bi premium uh, edition so now we will talk about how microsoft uh, updates their processes so microsoft pushes out updates once a month 
so all the new features you will get uh, basically uh, you will receive notification like uh, Microsoft has uh, got a new update will you willing to you know update your product will receive desktop notification to update the version so if you are working on the power bi desktop again you will get some kind of notification to remind you like a new version is available uh, potential for multiple uh, version so this is the microsoft uh, process for the update so here in this particular diagram we are seeing how uh, you know uh, different versions and tools uh, are used to you know for different uh, uh, processes so if we talk about get data so we can get data using power bi desktop that means we can connect to different data sources uh, in power bi services like uh, we can connect to power bi existing uh, data set or excel or csv file for the model data we can model only in power bi desktop so we cannot model our data in power bi services if we talk about uh, creating visualization and reporting part so we can do in both the versions in power bi desktop as well as services but difference is there like in power bi desktop we can uh, develop report from scratch by using uh, the data sets or data model but in power bi services we have to use the existing desktop uh, report or services so this is the only difference so by using those content of desktop we can again uh, create a new visualizations and report so i hope you found this video to be very helpful and please uh, do let me know if you have any query regarding this uh, particular video i'll definitely try to respond to you and please do like share and subscribe this channel uh, all the information related to this particular video i have linked into the description box please do check out and uh, have a nice day and thank you so much